Hi, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my craft room. Thanks for joining me today for a new color and chat video. This month I'm going to be coloring the Time for Tea design stamp set called Beach Buds. I absolutely love these cute little sea creatures. They are all hand drawn and I'm going to be using the Sassy Club Onyx Black Ink Pad which is designed for alcohol markers. This is my first time using it and I'm so excited to see how it goes. I did use it to stamp my coloring guides here and I love that it creates a nice crisp line for alcohol marker coloring on one stamp so I will have that linked down below for you to check out. I'm not sponsored or affiliated in any way but I just absolutely love Sandra's products so again I'll have the link down below. I have all of my Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers set off to the side so let me clear off my desk and get a coloring guide and let's start coloring. So I'm going to start with my sea otter and his little shell and I did color the face and his body kind of separately on this guide because there's so many colors to coloring in my little sea otter. So I'm just going to start from the darkest color. So I'm starting with my EB6 and I'm adding that as where I think the most shadow will be on my sea otter. And then I'll move into EB4 and then EB3 coloring in the rest of the darker fur of my sea otter. So EB4 I'm doing a brush motion because it does um, have fur and I want it to have a fur look. So again my mid-tone will be the brush kind of fur look and then EB3 my lightest tone I'm going to just color it all in and I'm also going to repeat that for his face as well but I'm going to have a little bit of touch of the EB3 on the head and then I'll go in with EB1 MB2 and MB1 pretty much the same process like I'm coloring the main part of his body to color in the face and that way I can show with you how I go from dark to light completely on my little sea otter and then I will add some little speckles with my darkest colors, EB6 and EB2. Um, the six is for the body and the two is for the face. And of course, have to add cute little cheeks with my FS5, which is a blush color. And then my shell, I'm using my BOs. I go from three, two, and one. And then I use the darkest shade three to add in more little speckles. And then I will grab my white gel pen to add highlights. So while I'm finishing up my sea otter and my shell, let's talk about July. July really just flew by. I can't believe we're in August now. <laughs> the summer is just going by so quickly. Um, I know I've talked a lot about it before, but in July was my sister's wedding in Iowa. So took a lot of time off to help her with that and just to be a part of the ceremonies. I had to definitely work a lot in advance before I left and then catching up a little bit when I got home. But it overall was a really great month and I'm still really happy with all of the content I put out and I hope everyone who is a subscriber either here on YouTube or Instagram or even TikTok and Facebook, uh, I hope that I brought you some great inspiration for the month of July. I am switching things up a little bit in August. I have to travel for work um, and some other family activities for the next few months. So I am lowering my commitment. So I will We'll talk about that after I talk about this next coloring guide. So I'm moving into my crab and sea turtle. So of course my crab is going to be red and I'm going to use DR1 as my lightest color and then I'm going to bring out CR7 and CR5. So I wanted my crab to have kind of a brighter orangier red more so than a more purple or blue tone red. So I'm, like I said, bringing in CRs, more coral colors to color in the crab. And then for the speckling and its cheeks, I'm going to use DR2, which is a shade darker. So that way you can really see those cheeks stand out on the crab. For the sea turtle, I'm going to start with coloring in the greens. I'm going to do my DGs in three, two, and one to color in my turtle's head, neck, and little feet, <laughs> or fins, I guess I should say. And then I'm going to use browns for the shell. I'm using TN6 
four, and three. And then I'm gonna use my TN6 to add speckling to my sea turtle, both the green and the shell, because a lot of sea turtles have brown spots. So I wanted to uh, bring that into my sea turtle as well. The sea turtle, I also used FS5, which is a blush for the cheeks, and again, using a white gel pen to add highlights. So as I finish up coloring my turtle, August will be my last month with Time for Tea Designs. It was a great six months or will be six months. Um, I absolutely love Joe's hand-drawn uh, images and, you know, great quality sets and dyes, but I'm just getting a little too busy and have to take some steps away. So I will be making my last design team video this month for Time for Tea Designs. I'm also taking a small break from Ink Road, which you guys know I love my snarky stamp sets and pop culture references, but I am taking a break for the rest of the year and will hopefully be back again in January with some fun snarky content using um, ink road stamps. And then finally, I am stepping down as well from Doodles Paper Playground being their social media manager. I'm just having a hard time keeping up with everything and I feel like this video ended up sounding really sad, but I mean, I love all these companies so much and I respect the wonderful women that run the companies and I still will always be a huge advocate for all of their products. So while I am, you know, taking my workload down a little, I still absolutely love these companies and will still promote the heck out of them here on my channel. I, uh, especially my sparkle blends, right? I love making shaker cards. And uh, speaking of shaker cards, I did share that I will be part of the SBC Fest um, for scrapbook.com here in September. I'm so excited. I'm going to be doing some shaker card tips and tricks and different kinds of shaker cards. So I will have a link down below to the SBC Fest where you can sign up um, to get more information. I'm, I'm hopefully going going to be creating a video once I get back from traveling um, my next work trip uh, to kind of talk more about it. So those were my final little critters here. I have a sample card using my adorable little critters and other Time for Tea Designs products such as dyes and paper. And I hope that this coloring guide is useful to you and you also enjoy coloring sea otters like me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll click like, and if you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe and come back. As always, you can find everything I use down below in the description box. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye.